Right, here we are, under the pier. Under Western Pier. This big load of rain just came over. I'm just sheltering under the pier for now. This represents the history of the pier, really. This underside, the new bits up above, but this, this here, people are walking along up the top there. This is the old pier, look. This old Brunel-like structure. People walking up there. See? Now this, this is, this is Victorian Western. These pillars that have been standing up to storms for over a hundred years. Well over a hundred years. The odd new pipe here and there and a bit of welding I expect. But look at that. Get up close to that. See? Look. That's old Western Pier. There'll be a lot more rain coming in a minute. I'm just doing a little bit of another bit of video while it's calm. It's like we're in the eye of the tornado at the moment. That's what it feels like. See all the way up there. There's pit various people are out looking for stuff um, with their metal detectors and just like me looking for anything that's been washed up. You can hear the people up up above walking. There is an indoor bit so you don't have to get wet as well, running through the central spine of the pier. That's all that separates the pier from the sea is this structure. I wondered what it felt like last night when that wind when you it's, it's built for it. This isn't the first storm that's passed through these shores. Boats have ended up on the seafront before now. In the past, I'll just walk around a bit of it. You see, I watched them build this new pier. I watched them build it. See, it's sort of built on clay. Thick, thick mud, look layers of it. Of course they say about clay, there's the sand underneath, it could be a single. <laughs> Western Pier. The real pier this is. This is the real pier. What we're seeing now. A little bit of china there, look. A little bit of an old teacup. You can tell it's old because of the thickness. A little bit. I'll, take, I'll collect that as well. Right. Put it in the bag. The sun's coming out now. It's weird, isn't it, this weather? Really weird this one is. There's somebody in there doing metal detection. I don't know if they can hear me. I don't know if your voice carries. There's a pigeon busy. Lots of bits of crockery around here. That gets washed up and down all the time. People do go wandering around. I'm not going to go wandering around in there, but apparently when the pier burnt, there's some new floor in there. Like you can even where they've had to put new girders in. This is starts getting new. Some of this, you can see the new boarding. Is that all got burnt and all the coins and the machines fell through and landed in this mud, and there it had to be fenced off to stop people coming and nick all the money. <laughs> Safes and everything fell into this mud, you see. That's why you get metal detector people out here. I'm just doing a bit of... You never know, it could get swept away, don't you, one day? 
I expect loads of people have videoed it though. I expect loads of people have videoed it. You find lots of glass as well from the pier. Lots of melted glass, loads of it. Um, it's dangerous really for policy makers. <sighs> I found a bit of pottery anyhow. I'm gonna I'm not gonna go too far over here. Just see it from a different angle, you see. Here, little video. A minute ago, it was when I was over that side. It was howling winds. And now it's all calm. Look, it's nothing as strange as the pier. Here's a good way of looking at all the mud. Look, all the thick mud holding this pier up. Looks to me like the tide's going out because it's being dragged that way. Look, tide's still being still still being sucked out. See, you can hear the roar though, can't you? You can hear the roar of the sea. I think it's still going out at the moment. Both those ships over there. I've been on both of them. One out just over. Well, we'd be a two years ago in April and the other one was more like 30 years ago the one that's hidden behind it I've been on that one as well the very first time I ever went round steep home with the kids on board by the way as well it's all rather boggy though you just hope you don't fall down a sinkhole when you're out here see There's the Winter Gardens, the Queen's visited there, Princess Anne. And it's gone very calm. For a moment, it's gone very calm. It's weird, isn't it? We must like we're in the eye of the storm again. It's not, not even, well, gentle breeze, that's all. And I'm imagining it to all stop in a minute. As I get further away from the pier, as I'm within the protection of the pier then, you see. And I want to go up to the shoreline to carry on the searching of the fossils and artefacts. You find something every day you come down here. Now see, you don't, in the summer there's not so much what I call treasure. Because they have the cleaning people out and they clean the beach, they rake it. They have to because of the glass. But it makes it a boring beach, um, further up the beach, of course. It makes it boring because there's no treasure. Kid, people like to look at treasure. It's a natural thing. To look for treasure, really. It's natural. See, that storm's gone out all the way over there to Bridgewater, unless it's coming this way, of course. You can see it going along there. You can feel the wind starting to get up again as I leave the protection of the pier. And I've got loads of little videos I made when they built that. Every stage of that building of that pier I've captured on video. I think it was finished in 2010. Randy used to like coming down with me when we used to do this and um, I started to bring Maggie down when I'm allowed to have her when, like once a week. She comes down with me. I can, if there's no one about, no other dogs, I let her off. She loves it. She loves it as well. Yeah, what you do find down here is lots of um, 
debris from the old pair, burnt wood. I found a lot more stuff in the early days. That wasn't too damaged. Here's another shell, look. See? Another one of those. I collected. Right, over and out.